Good afternoon. I am Colonel Billy Wilson, the commander of basic military training. I'm glad we had this opportunity to uh, have a discussion. So, why are you here? I will tell you that you are here to train both your body and your mind. Be better every day. Be better. You are here to train your body and your mind. Not one or the other, both. I often ask new recruits, why the Air Force? And I often get, well, I want to be part of an institution. I want to be part of something that is larger than myself. Remember why you are here. Remember those people that came before you. Everything that you do needs to come with a passion and a vigor that is unmatched. There will be stress. It will be stressful. And I will tell you that it is stressful by design. So the question remains, when you start feeling stressed out, what are you going to do? Are you going to react? Or are you going to respond? I expect you to respond to the demands that are being placed upon you, pushing you out of your comfort zone, forcing you to grow, because that's why you're here. You're here to be transformed from what you were to what you need to be, to what your nation needs you to be. Each and every one of you will earn your place here. This will not be given to you. And as you earn your place here and head toward graduation day, having earned it, you will have a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. And it will be meaningful to you. And as you depart this place, you will be proud of what you've accomplished. At this time, please find a place to sit. Thank you and enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, rendering a flying salute to our graduating airmen are two F-35 Alpha Lightning Twos, call sign Tomb 01 Flight. Tomb 01 is flown by Major Jared Dillon. Tomb 02 is flown by Captain Ben Hook. These aircraft are from the 95th Fighter Squadron, 325th Operations Group, 325th Fighter Wing, Tendo Air Force Base, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of our official party.
please pray in your tradition as I do in mine. O God of heavenly powers, our source of strength and hope, we ask for your hand to be upon us today. Please embrace us. Embrace our MTIs, our commanders, our staff, our graduates and their loved ones as we take one step forward today. With their marches, drills, classes, and all grading up to be, may they strive toward excellence in all they do. When they have lost quietness, may they celebrate and lift up those around them. When the speech is concluded, may their voices rise up to pronounce peace and justice for our community, our country, and the world. When the fun fair sees, may they find bliss in future endeavors and adventures. When the path to advancement is challenged, may their achievement grow and enrich their family, our country, and the world in a serious way. As new careers start today, may they conduct their life work with integrity, service, and excellence, so that peace, friendship, and justice will be established for our nation and the world. In my beautiful name, we have Thank you, Chaplain. Please be seated. Good morning, and welcome to today's basic military training graduation ceremony. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the host for today's ceremony, the Deputy Commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Lieutenant Colonel Alvin Schultz, Jr. The Senior Enlisted Leader, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Dan Anderson. The Reviewing Official, the Commander, 325th Fighter Wing, Colonel George Watkins. The Command Chief, 325th Fighter Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Wayne Sharp. Also in attendance with us today, the Deputy Commander, 16th Air Force, Air Force Cyber, Major General Thomas Hensley, accompanied by members of the Beale Military Liaison Council. The Assistant Adjutant General, Missouri National Guard, Brigadier General Patrick Lanigan, accompanied by his wife, Darcy. The Deputy Commander, 37th Training Wing, Colonel John Odell III, accompanied by his wife, Josefina. The Command Chief, 37th Training Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Carlos Damien. Although time does not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 737th Training Group is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, prior to today's ceremony, we would like to introduce our newest military training instructors. These instructors have undergone a rigorous five-month training pathway comprised of formal academic classes and task qualification requirements. They have earned the distinct honor of donning the dark blue campaign hat. From the 321st Training Squadron, Technical Sergeant Sean Dim Savage.
from the 321st Training Squadron, Technical Sergeant Jonathan Steele. From the 331st Training Squadron, Technical Sergeant David Randison. of the MTI Corps since 1974. These instructors will carry on the traditions and esprit de corps of the United States Air Force as they pass on their knowledge to our newest generation of airmen. Our commander of airmen is Technical Sergeant Ajalon Kimborough. Colonel George Watkins will review today's ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated.
Over the last seven and a half weeks, the men and women before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warriors with the foundation to serve in the most powerful military the world has ever known. Once they leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in one of 118 specialties. They will then move on to serve at one of 84 installations around the globe or work directly with our sister services. As they move on to technical training, they will continue to focus on adapting to military requirements, achieving occupational proficiency, and learning how to be highly productive members of the armed forces. These men and women will prepare for increased responsibilities and must ensure they are trained, qualified, and ready to deploy and operate in an expeditionary environment. These graduates are the future of our national defense and will pave the way for generations that follow. Seven thirty seven training group, United States Air Force, Joint Base San Antonio, Blackland, Texas. Subject Commander's Excellence. The Commander's Excellence Streamer is awarded to the three twenty first training squadron, Flight two five nine, for their significant accomplishments, demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps during the period of nineteen February twenty twenty four to four April twenty twenty four. Signed. Billy Wilson, Jr., Colonel, United States Air Force. The Commander's Excellence Flight was led by Technical Sergeant Joshua Smith, Technical Sergeant Cody Bratcher, and Technical Sergeant Sean Dimsavage. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. The graduates before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors.
graduates passing in review today represent a portion of the 35,000 men and women who will complete basic military training this year. The 737th Training Group provides all recruits the essential military training to become motivated members of the world's greatest Air Force. The military training instructors are responsible for the indoctrination, development, and discipline of the airmen. They have dedicated endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Armed Forces. As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass and review, they will march over the enlisted heroes walk. The men and women recognized on the pavers have been awarded our nation's highest honors, representing heroic and unselfish actions as members of the United States military and armed complex. Their decorations include nine medals of honor, 23 Air Force crosses, and 162 silver stars awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. The enlisted heroes serve to inspire all service members to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. We would like to direct your attention to our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, please stand and render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. As a reminder, military members and veterans in uniform will stand at attention and render a salute. We ask that our civilian guests stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may either render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags have passed, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all of our guests the opportunity to view the flight as they pass in review. Flight 265, led by Staff Sergeant Trevor Worthy, 
military training instructor, hometown Hi. as Kanaba, Michigan. Hi. Flight 266, led by Technical Sergeant Dominique Reyes, military training instructor trainer, hometown Huntington Beach, California. Hi. From the 331st Training Squadron, Flight 267, led by Staff Sergeant Joshua Reed, military training instructor trainer, hometown Tawny, Hi. Illinois. From the 324th Training Squadron, the Color Guard, led by Technical Sergeant Jonathan Keeney, Military Training Instructor Trainer, hometown Hi. Rapid City, South Dakota. Hi. From the 331st Training Squadron, Flight 271 Hi. and 272, led by Hi. Technical Sergeant David Nielsen, Military Training Instructor, hometown Los Alamos, New Mexico. Hi. Squadron, the B Squadron staff, led by Technical yeah. Sergeant Louis Torres Vargas, Military Training Instructor Trainer, hometown Denver, Colorado. From the 331st Training Squadron, Flight 268, led by Technical Sergeant Jessica Ortiz Villa, Military Training Instructor, hometown Guadalajara, Jalisco. Flight 269, led by Technical Sergeant Dangerard Conlon, Military Training Instructor Trainer, hometown Santa Maria, California. Flight 270, led by Technical Sergeant Nadia Cruz, Military Training Instructor, Hometown Victoria, Hi. Texas. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing and singing of the United States Air Force song. Thank you. You may be seated. Musical support for this morning ceremony has been provided by the airmen from flights 260 and 261, performing under the direction of Technical Sergeant Matthew Zettelmeyer, military training instructor, hometown Augusta, Georgia. These individuals have been hand-selected to perform for today's ceremony. In addition to completing all basic training syllabus and training requirements, drum and bugle corps members commit additional training hours for practice throughout their weeks of training. Their extra effort and commitment demonstrate teamwork and the Air Force's core value, service before self. With each drum and bugle performance, they honor the long-standing tradition of live music at formal military ceremonies.
would like to take a moment to congratulate all of our honor graduates as well as their families. Basic military training honor graduates distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all graduates in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence they displayed throughout basic military training earned them this distinction, distinction outstanding distinction. As the flights march forward for the oath of enlistment, we would like to thank all of the families and friends who are here in support of those graduating today. For your support to our mission and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Your words of encouragement has helped motivate these graduates through seven and a half weeks of basic military training. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel George Watkins will now come forward and address our graduating class. Good morning. What an honor it is to look out into the audience and see all the families joining us today. Seven and a half weeks ago, you entrusted us with our nation's most valuable treasure, your loved ones. Your support has pushed these airmen to successfully complete basic military training and join the world's greatest Air Force. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for your support and for your encouragement, but more importantly, thank you for your trust. It is my great honor to introduce the 571 airmen as our nation's newest military members. Airmen, congratulations. Like many before you, you have answered our nation's call. Now I can't tell you exactly what your future holds, but I have one request, be ready. It is not in our power to anticipate our destiny. We don't know exactly what you will face tomorrow, or next month, or next year. But I can tell you that when the battle starts, the most ready side will win. Our Air Force is currently in a race, a sprint, to better prepare for great power competition. To me, that means being ready to fight every single day. And through innovation, preparation, and training, being more ready each day than the one before. We must get better every day, and preparation is the key to standing up for something and having the courage to defend our nation we must be prepared to fight. And what are we fighting for? All the greatest things are simple. And many can be expressed in a single word. Freedom. Justice. Honor. Duty. Mercy. Hope. We live in a great nation, the greatest country in the world. The price of greatness is responsibility. You have answered a calling, and in a few minutes, it will be your sworn duty to stand up and fight when America calls, and defend this great nation to face down any adversary and win. As you join the world's greatest Air Force, you are joining an elite team. An elite team that is in the throes of redefining air power to be even greater, to be more modern, more ready, and more of the power for freedom than ever before. This nation will remain the land of the free so long as it is the home of the brave. And you are our future. I see 571 brave faces out there, so I only have one question to ask you. Are you prepared to join the ranks of the world's greatest Air Force? Hey! 
They are ready. Please stand as Colonel Watkins will now administer the oath of enlistment. Instructors, place your fights at attention. Now raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I state your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Please remain standing while our graduates recite the Airmen's Creed and for the departure of the official party. I am an American Airman. I am a warrior. I am next to my nation's call. I am an American Airman. My mission is to fly, fight, and win. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. Thank you. 